Well, that's my dog's eye barking again at the beginning of videos, what's new? I've got a bunch of paper scraps, and so I got to kind of thinking, it might be kind of fun to do something a little bit different other than drawing or painting, maybe something a little bit 3D. And uh, so we'll get started here. I'm Miss Therese, and welcome to Art with Miss Therese, and I think we're gonna have a pretty good time. What you're gonna need is sort of a pile of paper scraps that you might have hanging around. Any colors will do. It's nice to at least have three colors, but if you only have two colors, you can do this with two colors too, and you'll see why in a minute. Scissors, I'm gonna actually really need the scissors. And for fun, I do have a paper punch. It's not necessary, but it's gonna make for some fun special effects. And a ruler, I really like using rulers when, to measure things, obviously because this project does need to have you measure things so that some things are the same size. That's the way it's gonna work. And then of course, my glue sticks ready to go, of course, with their caps on. So I'm going to just double check here. Yep, that looks like it's a good one. If you don't have glue sticks, um, scotch tape will do, but in, or a little bit of Elmer's glue, any kind of glue that you happen to have around the house, but probably not super glue or hot glue. I'm moving this aside for my workspace and I cut out three uh, of the same size of piece of paper. Let's see, let's measure this. We'll do a little practice here. This is a clear ruler so I can kind of see through it. This looks like it's nine, get that exact there. This looks like it's nine by six and these other ones are all nine by six. So the way we're gonna start out is once you cut out your, your sizes, and again, you, could, you can do any size you want. You just need to have a rectangle. But I think if you start out with a nine by six, you're gonna probably get good results the first time. You're going to fold the um, pieces of paper. And I like to kind of crease them like this. Open it back up like this. Fold again, and I'm going to do it with these other two. I've got my pieces of, of paper folded already, ready to go. This is going to be my outside piece. And this is going to be one of my inside pieces. And then this is going to be my inside inside piece. And so take your inside piece. And again, it can be any color that you want. I'm just happening to use these colors because this is what I have. And I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure the start for my pop-up card. And what you're going to do is you're going to make some cuts here. And I'm going to show you how to make them work to, to have things pop up. I'm going to have this one be, and you could put it anywhere in here, I'm going to have this one be about one, one and a quarter, and I'm going to move my ruler over like that, make sure it's nice and straight, one and a quarter, and this one, I'm just going to do two pop-ups on this one, this one I'm going to have this one be half an inch, move it over a little bit like this. And I'm going to have it be, I'm going to make this one a little bit wider, and that's going to be half an inch. And I'm going to get my scissors, and this is when I'm going to carefully cut along those lines, just the length of those lines. And again, it doesn't have to be absolutely straight, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, because I guarantee either way it's going to work. Next. I'm going to fold those up like this. Remember, you can stop this video and replay it any time if I'm going too fast. Sometimes it's kind of nice to watch the video all the way through and then um, go back and start again. And that way you're going to be kind of familiar with, with how we do things. So I've got those have been folded. I'm going to kind of fold this back the other way. Sometimes folding things twice when you fold them different directions is going to give you a little more of a better turnout. And then I'm going to open this up like this. All right, that's kind of fun. And I'm going to fold it back this way 
like this, and then I'm gonna fold it all the way like that, all right? So, we've got, we've got to fold it this way, and then, ta-da, there is, here, I'll hold it like this, there's gonna be the beginning of your pop-up card. So we've got a little pop-up here, a little pop-up here, and as you can see, when we fold the card, it pops down. I've got two pieces of paper that, remember, they're the same size. That's my outside, this is my inside. The next step is I'm gonna take my glue stick, and I'm gonna move this piece of paper over a little bit. And also remember, this is a, a table that's my work surface, so I don't have to cover it. But if you're working at home and say it's on a better piece of furniture, you might wanna cover it with another piece of paper or some newspaper, something like that to protect it. So I'm gonna take my glue stick and, oh my gosh, this one's purple. You can get glue sticks at the grocery store if you don't have any. I kind of like to find things that you can get it really simply. Although I know oil pastels aren't at the grocery store, but um, that you can get really simply and use, use at home. And then, once I've got that side done, putting my cap back on, even if it's just for a short period of time, I'm going to bring it in here like this, and I'm going to line it up with as best I can. I'm gonna line it up with that fold like this. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go over like that and press down. Okay? So there, look what, it's, it's beginning to happen. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Oh, I got a little bit of glue there. I'm just gonna move that over there. So we'll do this. I should probably do this a little bit quicker because this glue likes to dry pretty fast. The nice thing about glue sticks is that you can't spill them. <laughs> and um, if you get them on something, they're completely washable. And um, you just have to remember to put the cap back on because they do dry out pretty quickly. There, that cap is back on. And again, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Fold it over, press. All right. So there, there's the beginning. There's the beginning of my pop-up card. Now we're going to make some things to go inside this pop-up card. And I think today... Well, since it's winter time, I'm going to come up with some kind of fun shapes. What you're going to always want to remember is you're going to be gluing the little, whatever little things you're going to have pop up to this surface here so that when you fold the card, you don't want anything to be any higher. I hope this makes sense. You don't want, want anything to be, excuse me, any longer than this distance to here because if I had it this distance to here, when I folded it, that's gonna stick out and I'm not gonna be able to surprise somebody on the inside. But if it's just the distance from here to here, if I glue it there and I fold it, it's gonna stay, it's gonna stay inside there and nobody will see it and they can be surprised. So I'm gonna cut some shapes right now. Of little trees all out of my scrap paper and I think this scrap paper may be ready for for the recycle bin so I'm going to kind of move that over 
there. It's always kind of nice to sort of keep a kind of a clean work surface. I'm not very good at that, but I find that it works better. So I made all these little trees. You, you only have to make two if you want. I just made extras because we're gonna get a little bit fancy for this. But the whole idea is if I glue this tree like this, I'm not gonna glue it quite yet because I'm gonna do something a little bit different. But I, if I glue this tree to here, when I shut this and I lift it up, there's gonna be a little tree popped up there. And if I did the same thing here with, and again, you don't want the super long ones. We're gonna do something else with those there. You have two trees in your pop-up. You could even do it with just one pop-up if it's the first time you've done it and you're a little kind of unsure and you're sort of experimenting, but the whole idea is the same. So what I'm gonna do now is I actually have some taller trees that I'm going to put in the background like this. So I'm gonna kind of give the whole idea of a forest. So I'm gonna flatten this back down again here. All right, and get my glue stick out here and put glue. You don't have to use a lot, just enough to make it stick. I'm gonna put that one right there. I'm gonna keep everything kind of inside, within the, the inside of the card so it kind of looks nice. And what if I put one right there? Okay. So right now I'm just doing the background trees. And they're gonna go on this top part of the card and they're not gonna get glued at all to the, to the little pop-up things. Oops, I didn't put enough glue on that. This does seem to be drying a little faster than usual. Maybe it's because my house is kind of warm today. I built another fire. I always like a fire in the fireplace when it's winter time. And, oh, how about this? What if I kind of do sort of half a tree here? That's kind of interesting, isn't it? I always like using the space that I have and sort of, you know, there's always a basic idea how to do something. And then I kind of like to go, well, then what can I do next? What can I do to make it just a little bit better? But if you just want to follow the instructions and do it real simple, that's absolutely great too. So those are going to be my background trees. I may even take a smaller tree here like this one, oops, which is another half tree here. And what I could do is I could put it over that one. So we're kind of layering. It's gonna be like a little forest inside this card. But guess what? Put this back on for a second. You could use any kind of shape in here. If you wanted to just do squares and triangles and have them pop up, you could do that. If you wanted to do circles, you could do that too. It's all, it's all up to you. But the whole idea is we're going to do like a little background if you want, and then we're going to do these, these the little pop-up things to make it kind of magic. I could put one tree on those, but I think, how about this? What if I make a little forest for each one? So that'll be my, the, the um, one of them. Then I'm going to take my glue stick, take the top off trees, that helps. And, um, oops, there we go. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to put this down like that. All right. And then maybe I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a bunch of these. I'm going to make two trees that sort of together. I like alternating the colors, but if you like to have your colors all like, like evenly spaced, you can do that too. I'm not a big symmetrical person sometimes. I sort of like things that are, that are kind, of, kind of a little bit off to one side just because I think it makes it, it interesting. But you're the artist and, I'm gonna see it go like this. You're the artist and so it is entirely up to you. But do you see how I'm, I'm just sort of gluing these trees together like this? And again, you could just do one simple tree. Getting glue all over everything. What's new? Okay, there's that. So I've got three on that one. This one, I'm going to add another one here, like that. 
Okay. And I've got a, I've got a little tiny tree left. So I think what I might even do with a tiny tree, I'm definitely going to use the tiny tree. I'm going to put the tiny tree right there. So I have a nice solid piece that I'm going to be able to glue. It's made up of a bunch of trees, but it's, it's one, we turn it into one solid piece gluing it together. And let's see, I've got one more of these left over. I'm going to kind of hold on to that one. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Now this is the fun part. Put a little glue on this. If you put your fingers behind it and press lightly, you're only going to get glue on the pop-up part. You don't want the glue elsewhere because otherwise it's not going to pop up. So I'm going to take this set of trees and I'm going to stick them right there like that. And then I can lightly, I'm just going to check to see if this is going to work. Oh my gosh, look at that. Sorry, I leaned into the picture there. I got so excited. I'm going to do the same thing here like that, just very carefully. All right. You don't want to, you don't want to, definitely don't want to glue the top of the pop-up part because that could, whoops, that could cause your um, card to stick together. And then I'm going to put these trees here like that. Sometimes what I can do too is put the trees down flat like that, go over and then press down like this, and then come back up and ta-da, they're, they're, they're glued on there. So it's kind of looking like a little bit of a three-dimensional forest, I think. I'm not sure, but I think. So that's not too bad. And then, now remember, I've got this third piece. So to make this extra fancy, I could leave it just like this. I could put a little message here if I wanted to turn this into a card to give to somebody. Or I could just put something that I like, like a, a special saying, and go ahead and put this on my desk. Or what I can do, and you could finish it up with that. Or what I can do, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to cut this out like this is a little snow field. Now you'll notice that I have been doing an awful lot, well actually I've been doing all of my cutting, without drawing first with pencil. If, when you're doing your trees or whatever shape you want to do, absolutely go ahead and outline it. I just sometimes like to use scissors. Um, like I'm using my pencil, but if you're more comfortable drawing the shape and then cutting it out, by all means do, do that. Now, this is my last one. This is going to make my card really sturdy. Look, it kind of looks like a snow field, right? And so what we're going to do here is I'm going to do the same technique that I did before. I'm going to... These guys are rolling all over the place today. I'm going to very quickly glue this. Now, sometimes the glue may on the inside start to stick together. Just be very careful when you open it. And if you have to re-glue some things and um, just kind of work with it a little bit, go ahead and do that. This is a project where, you know, I'm not a very patient person necessarily. And this is a project where, where it teaches you a little bit of patience, which can always be fun. And as my kids, and I'm sure my students will say, oops, I'm not being patient there, guys. I can always learn to be a little bit more patient. There we go. Now, it's not quite even here because we're, we're doing with layers, but we can always trim that later. And as you can see, now, here, here's, we've got this going here. It's sticking a little bit, but I just very carefully pulled it back out again. And then this part, I'm going to want to stick here. So I'm going to very carefully put more glue stick on. I really like these purple glue sticks because I can kind of see where I put the glue. And before I forget, put that glue stick down, or put the cap back on the glue stick. And then fold this and look, oops, oh my gosh, look what happened. I should have pressed that down a little bit better. but. As you can see, we've got to kind of peek through there. You can see, kind of see how it works like that. But when you look at it straight ahead, I've got a little forest with some snow going on here. And then for fun, in the background, because I have my little paper punch, I'm going to punch out 
you know, I never know whether to use these like this or to turn them around and use the other way. But this sort of looks like it's right. I'm going to punch out a bunch of little dots. And notice I haven't used any kind of paint today. And other than outlining things with a pencil, I haven't really done any drawing. But this is kind of like drawing. So I'm going to punch out out of my scraps a bunch of those. And I've still got some scraps over here. a little pile of little dots and my glue stick and so this this gets kind of tricky and it's 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 I'm sure you kids with little tiny fingers are going to be really good at this but this is kind of my technique I pick up the dot and I'm going to pull it off like that all right and there's still enough glue on there and then I'm going to glue the dot boy that guy likes to roll around I'm going to glue the dot there and this is another one I'm going to glue that and I'm going to kind of very carefully, this is a lot of precise work here, as you can see. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to sort of break up that space back there instead of having it be. But if you liked it all white and, and nice and plain, you, could, you can do that too. card whoops you know what happened oh my gosh one of the trees on this side fell off and that's going to happen and this is why you got a glue stick so I'm going to re-glue this and like I say don't get discouraged if it's kind of sticks together a little bit there glue sticks dry pretty fast there's a little bit piece of purple on that right there I'm going to kind of move that sort of off same here that might have been the purple glue but that's going to dry clear so there's 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 your card now the edges here those edges are pretty good but this edge is like a little not not quite so even so all i'm going to do here is just come along with my scissors and trim it up so if you if you give this to somebody i'm sure they will really like it but if you really really like it keep it keep it yourself pop-up card and it's dry and it's not sticking together remember that's something that could happen while you're making it we used some some scrap paper and I really got a lot of use out of them I think this is really ready for the uh, recycle and I'm gonna start putting my things away use the pencil use the ruler we're gonna be using rulers a little bit more they're good for making straight edges but they're also kind of good to measure things of course and glue sticks the caps are on and a paper punch if you have one. Whoops, boy, I've got even more little punches. I could even add more to this, surprise. And my scissors, this is the result. It's important if you can make the inside and the outside of the card the same size. We used a rectangle today, but you could use any shape, any shape that you wanted. I hope you experiment a little bit with this. I hope you have some fun engineering some of these cards. It's fun to do 3D. I hope it was easy to understand. This is the first time I've done this project on a video. We'll find out, right? You take care and um, I will see you next time.